Hello, everyone. Uh, tonight, I'm going to be discussing about Windows 11 File Explorer. And um, this is also known as File Manager or File Explorer or File Explorer. So we're going to discuss how to's on uh, File Manager or File Explorer. And as you can see, this icon right here that I circled in yellow, uh, and also showing here, it is File Explorer on uh, Windows 11 operating system. And this icon is, uh, as you can see on the under the uh, folder icon, there's a file manager like that blue um, file cabinet that shows that uh, when you open the file cabinet, inside the file uh, cabinet, you have folders. And inside of folders, you have subfolders or, or uh, files. And inside of the file, uh, you actually have the content of and the uh, file, which is uh, either a text file or a binary or an executable or some kind of PDF file or anything. But um, when we are discussing file manager, you need to know about the C drive, uh, how the hard disk is uh, uh, on your system. The hard drive or hard disk is uh, basically one of your resources and that is a uh, hard a disk is hardware that you are going to store files uh, similar to a file cabinet. On the file cabinet that is um, on a storage that you just uh, have uh, different drawers and then on the C drive, you have different directories. The name uh, labeled, whether C drive or A drive or D drive, that's the, just the logical name, whatever you name it um, on a different operating system, different uh, partition, different, file system, different file manager. We're gonna not go in that level, um, but I'm going to uh, explore on the file explorer. I'm going to go in detail how file manager is going to help you manage your files and folders and your uh, desktop uh, files. So um, with that in mind, let's just go to uh, the next page of this presentation which is um, basically I'm thanking you for joining or watching uh, our channel. And if you subscribe already, thank you so much for your subscription. If you haven't done so, please subscribe. And if you make comments, uh, please uh, post your comments on the section where it is uh, good. And if you like to uh, you know, contribute, you can join our channel. If you uh, like to uh, make some comments or just give me a thumbs up, that would be greatly appreciated. So um, with that in mind, I'm going to later on show you some of uh, the video that is already presented at my web university. That's why it's a good idea to join and watch this video. It's gonna help you for school, for your job, for your career, and then for your loved ones, you can share with them. And then if you uh, share, you care about them. That's all matters in life. I'm going to and just go quickly on the Google search. And then on the Google search, as you can see, I opened this uh, Google uh, page. And then on the file, on the search query, I put file cabinet Im images that you can just look at the images. So basically file cabinet is all of these hardware is equivalent to like a hard disk uh, that you have. Inside the hard disk you have uh, other uh, directories and folders. And then inside the folders, in each one of them, you have uh, these um, files to manage. For example, right here, they um, put some folder inside there. And obviously for each one of them, if I just click on the 3D uh, graphics, and then you can see some people, they manage it through these, some people manage it through that, and then each one of them, you can see clearly that um, you are going to locate the files and folders inside these cabinets, right? So like, for example, if I look at the office, we look at the office, I believe already, but inside the office, you have different uh, kind of uh, cabinets that you can post uh, there. And then like here, you can see that different uh, folders are put into this cabinet. As you put it on this cabinet, you could have color coded 
so you can distinguish between them. And I'm going to uh, show you uh, some of the things that you can do the, uh, to make sure you organize it so you can easily file uh, similar to uh, your file cabinet inside your C drive and your home directory and uh, personal directories and other directories on the system. So that is very important. And if you look at this organized uh, versus non-organized, look at uh, the files that are on the system. You can see that uh, someone made uh, directories uh, per uh, this, but it's not labeled. The labels are very easily uh, written on each of these folders. And then when you open each one of them, you may find out this all, uh, itself is not that organized either, even though this is showing you kind of like a hierarchical level. And then this one is uh, says that organize your computer files. But the problem with this kind of organized uh, folder, that's too many folders to look at. You don't want to create too many when you're looking for um, on the, something, for example, for a program files or some kind of documentation or images and videos, even though they are labeled, but because there are so many of them uh, or on the desktop like this, look at this, this is so cluttered. You don't want to ever do this one. Some people, they just uh, create shortcut after shortcut, they put on the desktop and then they don't organize it uh, to have it clean. This is very, very bad kind of, uh, how could you find out what you're looking for? You could do control F search, but even search on the string that you're doing it, it's not easy to find it. It's almost like somebody throw everything at the garage at some day, uh, and instead of organize it and file in folders, you just uh, can't find it. So by organizing it's something like with folders uh, that is identifiable, especially if you name it uh, like each folder, and you just make a five or four of them. Don't make like 20 of them like this. That is very hard to just go through them. You can make a directory like this one is also not good. See this, this is so bad. And then this is um, another one that is not bad. I mean, it is bad. It is bad because if you have these Word document, you can make one uh, folder called uh, uh, Word and then you put those ones and then one for um, images, one for PDF, and so on. The same thing here that you see, this looks nicer. Why it looks nicer? Because there's only about five folders and some files, but this doesn't look nice. Explorer, they have each one of them differently. So you could make one directory called Explorer and then put all these ones together in, inside that one then it's much, much easier to find it. Now you got the idea of what a file manager is all about. I'm gonna show you my desktop. So as you can see, my desktop is a bunch of uh, icons. For example, on empty recycle bin, I could uh, right click say empty recycle bin. Now I have cleaned it up. And then uh, desktop, if I just don't wanna see this one, I could uh, just remove it. But if I wanna add a, a kind of like an interface so I can go to my PC. Obviously from the PC, I can click on the file manager and then see everything here. That desktop, whether I wanna click on the desktop here, like earlier that icon was the, there, the shortcut, I could have just uh, gone there. And then under the quick list, you have all these uh, desktop and then each one of them you click, you have uh, the details view here that shows you the permissions and then on uh, the size of the file and the timestamp when, when the file was created. And you can also look at the properties. For each of the property, you can also go under the security and look at the permissions of those files there. I'm not gonna go into the active command, but with active command, you could just uh, get the content of these directories and see permissions. Maybe I could make another uh, video separate so I don't want to get you confused and uh, just jump in from uh, basic to intermediate, from intermediate to advanced and then command lines, you might get confused. Um, what I want to make sure that you understand is that there's a lot of details on the graphical user interface 
And you can also get that information from the command line interface. So under the home, for example, if I click on it, I just have these um, desktop uh, quick access. Uh, for example, if I want to go to my generic and then say, okay, on this one, notice that this window is showing up here, but I can just say under the view, I could say, make an extra large icon. And now the uh, icon is big. So since it's too big, I could say large, and then that's good enough for you to see a nicer uh, window. Under this view that I have, I also have an option of uh, saying that, uh, go to the detail pan, which is this one, or go to view pan, preview pan. Preview pan, if you have a text file, uh, you, you can see the content of that text file or that image file, or if it is Python script, for example, and then uh, versus a text file, on the temp directory, maybe if I have a file called text file, I can open it, but anything with images, you can just open the image there. So um, if I go to C drive and then look at the temp directory here, and then let's see if I have anything with test air. Yeah. So if this is a text file, you can click on preview and you can see the content of it. Similarly, if I go to users, and then Wahid and then CD to program files and then look at C++. So one of the C++ code, if I just want to look at the content of a file, uh, let's say ddo, uh, notice that I don't know by looking at this one, if the file is, a, it says that you can do a, a preview on it or a property, you can look at it and know that this is a C plus plus source code. But if I just say under the view and I say show, and I wanna just check uh, the file extension. Notice the file extension now is on, I can see that dot C plus mm plus. -hmm. And then since the source code I was written by me on this one, I can see that this is the C plus plus code. But if I wanna just say open this one in a, a Visual Studio code, you right click on it from File Manager for Explorer and say open with. And then uh, if you just double click, by default the extension is already uh, Visual Studio Code is there. You could open within Visual Studio Code or like by double clicking on this one, it opens it. Now this is open in Visual Studio Code right here. Or I could close it and then just go to File Manager again and then say, uh, this file, and I say open with Visual Studio Code, it will also open it in Visual Studio Code. And then you can compile it and run it and execute. But here, notice that the source code is showing here, like a preview that it is showing and uh, on the, uh, how it looks. But then you have also on the um, preview, rather than detail, you have like contents, you can just look at the content of it. You can say, uh, show it in a large icon. All of the code are showing in large icon. You can have a bit like, uh, give me in a list that you can list it. And then you can say, uh, let's go on the details. And then uh, right here, you can have the timestamp and everything detail here. On the preview pan under the view, uh, right here, you can go to details, and then you can see that this is a C++ code. And this is on the details. When you look at it, you can see uh, the detail of the file and the permissions, file allocation, ownership. This is uh, something that is called data structure on the file allocation table of so, uh, FAT or in TFS file system. And then um, on the properties, when you click on it, you get the same information here. And then you can even uh, see the information on this. Um, let me just uh, show you a quick uh, overview of the uh, attribute information that I told you. Uh, I'm not gonna show, but I just felt like, no, you need to know the information of these files. So on this one, if I go uh, to the programs directory, and then look at uh, CD to C++, and then directory store.c++, you can see that these files are 
and there by default and this. If I say directory slash A for attribute showing all, it is not uh, showing any file that are and just having the attribute set. So um, at this time, they're all um, archived, which is a trip, uh, uh, sorry, clear screen, clear screen, uh, a trip, uh, store.c++, you can see that they're all archived. So if I just say, for example, I'll create that file and call it like uh, all.c++, uh, I don't have to give the extension of the dot C++ and I could say all dash C++ dot text. Now I just created a file called all C++ dot text. And if I just want to look at the attribute of that one, by default, all that C++ dot text also has the attribute and there. So if I just look for uh, the directory, directory, um, slash a and call uh, type attribute, I will also get the list of it. So by default, you don't have to do this uh, command automatically, it is showing the attribute of that one. But if I wanna get an attribute of uh, that file, I could say attribute in front of it. And then um, now that file is going to show the attribute. So if I say attrib um, plus um, r, like make it read only all that C++ dot text. Now I look at the attribute of it and it says that it is archived and it's also read only. If I want to make it a system file um, with the attrib command, um, I could say that plus S make it a system file, which is not, but I'm just showing you uh, how the permissions are in terms of that. Now, if I want to remove the uh, dash R or uh, dash S, let's say I do dash um, S, whichever one I want to remove, and then uh, I look at it, it is there. So the permissions are showing there. In addition, if you uh, set that permission to uh, class S like this, then you want to list, uh, let's say, show me all the files that has set the permission to S. Uh, and then uh, start. It doesn't matter which file it is, it's going to find that one. And it says, show me everything that has dash R, it's gonna do that one. So that's how you filter the system files and uh, uh, regular files into different attribute, different formation. I'm gonna delete that file so I could uh, come back with our file manager, uh, delete. Okay, so the file is, um, attribute is uh, a read only, I can I could not delete it. So I have to uh, change the attribute of it um, back to minus R, uh, minus R, and uh, not resetting all dash text. Let me see directly all that C++ dot text. Attrib okay, so I did deleted it already. All star and it's, not. it is actually there. So I'm gonna remove it and say attrib dash r and then all dash c plus plus dot text not the setting file uh, because of uh, permission so let me just see i'm gonna just take it out of the uh, dashes first it's a system file that says you have to make sure that attribute of it, that one is uh, not system now i try to do that uh, remove the r and it is done so this is how it works, the hierarchical. The permission was system files. I could have not uh, make it read unread only. Now uh, say, show me this, it does not have anything. And so no files is there. And then if I just say uh, all that C++ dot text, it's only archived. So if I say a trip of this one, it's only archived, that means I can delete it. Delete all dash c plus plus dot text and it is gone so i'm going to close this one but i wanted to show you this permission when you see it read write and uh, modify all those permissions on linux and unix uh, it's called change mode change group change ownership there's a lot of uh, commands that i have shown you 
on other videos, but on the Windows also, you can control it from command line as well as on the GUI, you can edit it and then change the permission to say that um, mark it differently. So on this one, you have also details that you can lo look at it. See the archive attribute is set A. And then um, if you look at these other permissions on the properties, you have that. And then notice that uh, it uh, gives you a C++ icon depending on where you are. So if I go on the program C++ and then I look at the C directory and then double click on this one and then I say uh, one of the file. So notice the file extension is .c because I named it and then each one of them I click, this nice icon comes in and then the name of this. So under the file manager, if you did not have the show hidden, um, uh, sorry, uh, show file extension, file name extension, this name extension will not show here and you don't know what's the extension of the file. The way you just uh, enable that when you go under view and then you click on show and then click on file name extension and now the extension shows up here. Another thing is that whatever item you select, like you uh, see that this light uh, uh, bar shows that that's the one that I have clicked on. If I go here, that one is the one that's selected. But if you want to see a check mark next to this one, you just go under file and then you say show and then says item checkbox. Now the item that you click on, it is also checkbox here. So each one of them that you could do. Similarly, uh, it's on the directory level. So now I have go on this directory to this one, that is checked. If I go on this one, that's checked. And that's a check button here, um, check uh, icon. So if I go on here and say large icon and then click on this one, now you see the check is here. Uh, so whichever uh, icon you uh, could just look at it, the one that you uh, click is uh, showing the check. It's important under file manager, these are uh, inside the C drive under user directory, under the uh, directory called Wahid. And then inside here, you have a number of them. So if I go under the desktop directory here, then I have these uh, files in there. And similarly, if I go under the programs uh, right here, I have a bunch of directories and files in here. So you can see that there, the directories are called um, in yellow folder like this, and then the file name or whatever is the file. If it's a text file, you can see it right there. And if you want to open it, you could just click on open. It's a text file, you just read the content of that text file, okay? And then at the same time, if you right click on it, you can say open with. What, how you want to open it. Do you want to open a notepad, Visual Studio Code, LibreOffice? You can open the, depending on the file as or what is this associated with. And so there's associate command on Windows uh, from the command line. You can associate a file uh, to say uh, of this type. But if you open it with a given um, uh, type of IDE or given uh, type of a compiler or um, LibreOffice or uh, application or something, whatever the application you open it, usually Microsoft uh, knows that this is a PDF file because of the extension or the application that you associate it with. So that's important. And then if it is a HTML file, obviously it's going to open it in a, a Chrome browser or an Internet Explorer browser, you can also open it in uh, like IDEs like Visual Studio Code and other ones. So under this, uh, it's called Brad Crumb. This uh, structure is basically the whole structure is telling you that you're under the C colon users and Wahid and then programs. So if I go uh, navigate to this directory, now I'm on the Wahid directory. If I want to navigate to users, I can go there. If I want to go to C drive, I can do that. Or if I go to the, this PC, I can do that. At the same time, this is very nice here. You can get uh, to select each. Uh, uh, this one is called a Chevron. 
this uh, right arrow pointing uh, to the right, the arrow greater sign symbol is also called a chevron. And then uh, this one, if you click on the chevron here, you can see now it becomes a V-shape. That's why it's called a chevron. That one is uh, now pointing that these are the, your directory that you want. Since I'm on this, uh, this PC, it's on the uh, show C drive. If I click on home, now it changes my home directory here. So this is how you go inside your uh, C drive and then navigate to um, other directory. Like if I go back to the, this PC, it is there. I can just double click on the C drive here and then open each one of them as uh, files and directories like users here and then Wahid and then uh, so on. Or I could just come back here and say, uh, let's go under the uh, this Chevron here. And then uh, if I wanna go to gallery and see, okay, this is nice. The gallery is there. And then I have these collection and, and different views, different images, all of them. And then as you uh, go through them, if you just, um, or uh, looking at the, let me just go to another one under the desktop. You can see that like, for example, I have these uh, large icons, so I can right click here uh, on this uh, options. Under this, you have this option, say large icon, you can do it, or you can right click and say view and then uh, ex uh, extra large. So whether you click on this one under view or right click and then change it to um, different icon, you can also sort it if you wanna sort it by name by date or anything those options are there for a given directory so if i go back to this directory and i say sort it uh, first uh, let's view it by list and i'm sorry this is too small i'm going to change it to large icon so like you can sort it like this sort and then by name and it will sort it by name if you sort it by um, type, it will sort it by type, sort it by group and uh, uh, or group by, uh, whatever. The size, you can also uh, sort it by size, the largest. If you do the sort by size the second time, the um, largest one time shows the first one and then the second time it's ascending order versus descending order and large size. So you can also have the option of how you wanna just uh, list them and uh, how you look at them. If you wanna see them in tile uh, on the view, you can see the content of them uh, that, that way. You can see the details of it. How you wanna see the view is all these options here. So if I wanna say tile it, that is kind of icon with the information here. And then if I just uh, open Visual Studio Code, I can just double click on it and open it or run it as administrator or share it, open file location. So open file location is very cool that you can see that that is uh, opening the location of the file. It says that this actually Microsoft and this uh, local drive and then programs, Microsoft. And then I could also do copy address. Copy address, for example, I could go on to uh, command prompt and then say E and then say paste that uh, address. So if I wanna go to that directory, notice I am now there. So uh, it's a very nice tool. There's a lot of information that you could go from each of these directory. If you just right click here, say copy address as text, you can do that one and then come here and then say, um, like you, I did that one, let's just go. Uh, we could do edit address also edit address and then um, uh, paste it here or something. The option is, uh, I mean, so many of them, depending on what you want to do at the time and that is given to you. So under, um, let's go back to this uh, screen here. Uh, under this, you have also uh, pictures, for example, and then, um, if you have something on the pictures, you can look at it, folders uh, like this, and then under, uh, let me just go to Wahid Lutfi uh, directory, 
here I could just go on my downloads and then all the files there. You can also look at the files uh, and by extension search uh, directories. You can say, for example, star.pdf. Then it's all of a sudden under the downloads, all the files that are PDF. You say star.exec, and then you see all the executable files. A star.iso image, all the files that I downloaded for uh, installing ISO images as a virtual machine. So you can search for them similar to command lines by typing here. If you say star dot star, it shows everything. Uh, if you say star dot text, if you have any text file, it will show there. Similarly, if you go to another directory, like here, I go under a Wahid Lutfi directory, and then I say, let's go to the program files, uh, actually programs directory. So if I just um, select one of them and type P, then it's gonna jump into the next version. If I type in M, it's gonna look for the whatever M. Every time I click on M, then like for example, here my web university, nah, and then I could go there. And then if I say go to books directory, and then now I have under the books, if I say show me all the PDF file, uh, there you, you will see the files that are under the books directory PDF. And then I say, show me star dot PowerPoint uh, files. Since I don't know that uh, PT, PPDX, I just put asterisk. Now, if I just say, say PPDX, then I know that these files are uh, PowerPoint uh, presentation. And then each one of them, you right click on it, you can open and then open that one. Like this one was a video for a shell scripting with bash. Uh, you should watch uh, that video if you're interested in bash scripting. And like the complete course on uh, Linux Ubuntu, for example, this one is Linux Ubuntu. So I make this presentation for you in order to just uh, help you out. Uh, I hope you enjoy it and I hope you subscribe to our channel. So um, as I make these videos, uh, I'm just uh, gaining something uh, for my time uh, helping the community and somebody is interested in learning and then uh, whatever you learn, you can pass it on someday to other people that need your help, please do so. And then uh, that way we all uh, be uh, good uh, for our community. So I'm going to uh, empty recycle bin there. And then here uh, you have under file manager, a lot of other options. So if you look at the file manager, this is the breadcrumb on it. And then you have these options. So for example, if I just um, right click here and say, uh, create a new folder, I could make a new folder here. And then I name it uh, temporary, whatever I name it, or say XYZ, doesn't matter. So this XYZ does not have a good name. Uh, it could be etc. right? And then uh, this time when I look at this one, it's unorganized kind of names for it. But I say, maybe I could put any junk in there, any files that are, I don't know uh, what is it uh, associated, then I could rename it as ETC or uh, extra or something. But um, when you uh, right click here, you have option of like cutting it and uh, moving it to another directory or make a copy of it. So now XYZ, if I right click here and then say, uh, just uh, the way I copied it here, I say copy, uh, actually copy right here, and then right click here, now you have this paste option. So on that Explorer, it is a, kind of give you all the option here. Now I created the two of them, a duplicate of each one. So I don't need this uh, one, I could just click on delete. And then you have the option of cut, so you can move it somewhere else and then or copy it again and then paste it or you could just rename it. So if I want to rename this one, I could just click here and just say why he something. It doesn't matter what you name it. And then I say, oh, well, I don't need that one. Let me delete it, you can delete it. Similarly, I don't need that one, let me delete it. You look for delete button here, it is a right when you select it, and then you have that delete option here, 
or right click and then click on delete. Whatever you write, if you don't click, right click, the option is here too. On the command lines as well, you can do uh, rmdir, if it is empty, uh, you can do uh, rmdir, remove directory, but if it is not uh, empty, you have to do slash s for uh, subdirectories as well. But make sure that, that that's what you intend to do. And if you by accident delete something, then you say, no, I just I accidentally deleted, and go to recycle bin, Windows keep it for a while for you until you empty recycle bin. So if I just say delete it from the recycle bin also empty recycle bin, I have option to delete everything or just uh, right click this one and say um, uh, delete it or uh, restore it. So if I just say this one, I want to restore. And then notice that if I delete this one from the uh, empty recycle bin, it will be gone forever. And it's going to prompt me, say, do you want to delete it permanently? I say, yeah, I want to delete it permanently because uh, that was a copy. But if this one, I say, no, go ahead, restore it. Now it is restored back to where uh, I was. And then this uh, is right here. Then I could just come back again, say, no, I... Now, uh, now that I know how to restore files, uh, if I, in case by accident I delete it, this time I'm going to recycle, empty recycle bin, it will be permanently deleted. Now I cannot create uh, that directory. But because that directory was just an empty directory, I can always go a new uh, and then uh, name it XYZ. So sometimes don't panic if something that you can recreate it on the fly without any issue. But if you deleted your source code and you don't have a backup of it, make sure that you can restore it from where you deleted, uh, either on the recycle bin or maybe if you had a backup of it or snapshot of it, then restore it from there. And then if, uh, otherwise you just uh, delete it and then say, okay, that's good. I don't need it until recycle bin. And then the reason I'm showing you all these files, you, you need to get organized by just uh, having the file manager to manage all the files you put. Every time you put something in there that does not belong there, and just clean it up right away so you don't forget it and have the picture that I showed you earlier, uh, something like, um, uh, not on this picture, I think it was on this picture, yeah something like this. I don't want you to see this or this, or even this, and then, um, or even this. Even this is not uh, organized. So if I just uh, organize it in a file manager, and uh, notice that I created it under the file explorer, I could uh, say, okay, go to, for example, home directory of Wahid Butfi, and then right away, I could say, well, there's a lot of folders, everything here, but um, I just want to say that, okay, some of these ones or application that I know by names or some of them are dot, uh, hidden files. So if I don't want to look at the hidden files, I could say uh, hidden files and those ones are gone. Now, the one that are um, regular files, if I go under the programs, let me just click on, right click and then look at programs. And then here, programs, notice that I have uh, labeled them by and, uh, Git, Apache, AWK, uh, OP programming, C programming, C++, C++, C++ and uh, with PPP, curl, downloads, Go language, info, Java, JavaScript, JavaScript, JS, JNode, and new, and so on, Python. So let's say I go under here and then I search for Python and I open Python. Now under the Python, I have a lot of Python script and then some output file that are uh, text. So here I could just say star.py and then only search the list the Python files. Um, okay, so these ones must have that same extension or and the search did not work. Yeah, now it works because I had to press enter after that one. Now it is there. 
And then if I say, show me in the larger icons, then I can see they are all um, Python scripts. And if I just say, open one of them, for example, test two, I don't know what uh, that script that does. I could say, uh, just open it in PyCharm. PyCharm community, then it's going to open that program in PyCharm, then I can compile it in PyCharm and uh, run it in a, and then you can see here, basically the program is going to go to request. I'm going to just uh, close all these uh, notification and it's gonna just uh, does a request and it opens my web university and then it goes through a, a header for uh, HTML, which is a data dictionary, key pair value, and then it's going to print out the value and it's gonna show those values output here. So I'm gonna uh, close this one because it's not Python again. I'm going to just show you on each one of them how many options you have on file manager to do these things. So let me just uh, show you uh, for file manager how you spin it up. I already showed you uh, right here one time and if you just click on it, uh, you exit. Every time you open it, the last uh, session that you open, you have this uh, view. And depending on the view now, if I just want a quick uh, view, I say show, and then I say here, uh, there's a compact view, item check, file extension, edit, and navigate pan, all the option here. But under the uh, same uh, one, you I have the detail view here. And then and now you uh, you click on the view, uh, view under this directory, if I say, show me all files, it's everything here. Under the filter, you can also sh say, show me Word document, or show me uh, Excel uh, files, or show me, um, so you can see the PowerPoints. Everything that you do, you can categorize it by files under that directory by different uh, type of uh, file category, right? So if there's no PDF file for it, then obviously under the home, it's not there. But if I just say, uh, go under the, this PC and then just say, um, select all of them. Let's say here you have these options. Uh, this other button, I wanna show you in the view first, large icons. And then I say under this one, um, detail pan we showed you, preview pan, compact, Navigation. Navigation pan is really important for you to know. So I'm on the C drive. If I uh, enable navigation pan, it shows me this on the left side. And then on the right side, it shows whatever I click. For example, if I click on the Python, now I'm navigating under user uh, profile Wahid Lutfi, programs, and then Python. So now if I just go on a, a given directory called demo to demonstrate it, then I'm on that. Uh, this is called breath uh, crumb. Uh, so it is showing um, a hierarchical that is under the user profile Wahid, which is a slash a user and programs, uh, uh, slash user slash Wahid programs Python demo. And then right here, the navigation pan is uh, telling me that I'm on that. If I go to the generic directory, that is how that one is. And so it's much easier for you to organize it by type of the file and the directories. So if you say all the uh, Python, or I, I, I'm sorry, all the um, YouTube video thumbnails that I have uh, done it, I put those ones under the thumb. So if I just click on one of them, then I can see the image here. So uh, the, the nice thing about this kind of setup, you could just look at uh, all the, the uh, files and directories in a couple of clicks uh, using file manager. So uh, it's very, very organized. That way you can find it without any hassle. And if you delete it, you could just recreate it or copy it or something. You have the option on, on the file manager. So. Let's go back to um, this Python directory, for example, and then, or uh, maybe generic is a little bit easier to show you it's a combination of several different types. So 
For a file, you can also right click here and look at the properties. And that option is available here. You can also look at the detail and then you can look at the properties here. So number of ways you can just do the same kind of uh, things here. And if I just go here, say, select all, notice everything is selected. So now if I wanna right click here, say, copy it, then I can put it somewhere else. And then I can say, for example, here, the option is copy. Then I could say, well, let's go to C drive and then go to the temp directory. And then I just uh, paste it uh, somewhere here. But let me just uh, create a new directory here and say something like copy dirt. So I made a copy dirt in order to organize it. That copy dirt directory is under temp. I right click here and then uh, select paste. Now the whole thing is going to be copied. So how easy it is for you to move things around on the file manager and then just uh, make a duplicate backup of something before you change it. So before you change something, you could say, well, now I have it under the temp, under the directory. And if I made some changes on the other ones, I'd rather make it a change on temp to make sure it works. Then uh, I work on the, my development testing. And then if it works, then I copy that working direct file onto the directory I want. But if you say, well, this STEM directory was just uh, for demo purpose, like I did right now, I could just click delete and it's gone. But notice that whenever you delete something, it's gonna go to the, your recycle bin. So on the recycle bin, you could uh, uh, right click on it, say restore back, it will go to the temp directory because where I deleted it, it's going to be on the temp directory. So go on the temp here, and then that door is there. Again, delete it. It's gone. Now empty recycle bin, permanently gone because I just backed it up, uh, I mean, uh, for demo purpose. So this is very nice. So file manager, when you start it, you have this... Um, List of file manager, you can do the file manager a number of ways to start file manager. One is just by clicking here and then opening it. Another one is at the start, you could say file explorer. So when you uh, type in file explorer, that will just open it like that. So you got to do this. Another way is uh, just on the start, you just do this uh, backward slash, meaning that um, go to the my C drive. So it's gonna just automatically uh, take you down. That's the uh, second way. Here you can also type in file explorer or file uh, manager or just uh, uh, the last item that you open it, the file manager icon is there, you just click on it. Another way you could do is on the right click here and then look for a uh, file manager somewhere here, like file explorer. File Explorer it opens it. Let me show you that one again, because I see somewhere, right click here and then File Explorer. Okay, so that's another way you could do it. There's many ways you could do it. Another way you could do is right here, right click and then say, um, let's say on the personalized here, you could do personalized and then I wanna just say under the team, I could come back here and then say, um, set up the desktop icons. So the desktop icons, you can see if you want to set up uh, computers uh, right here, and then you just say apply. Now, uh, because I did this one, uh, if I close this one, now you see this computer is there. It's almost like uh, double clicking on this one, you go to your C drive. If you don't have this one and you just, open this one and this, uh, I clicked it too many times. If you click on it one time, it opens. Notice that this one, if you just uh, out of the home, you go to this PC, it is the same as, uh, this one is the same as this PC. So that both of them will open the same, um, this PC. So if I double click here, I open that one, C drive, or I click on here. Now I have it by default. It opens everything, but I can come down here and say this PC. 
and then uh, that would open it. So um, I don't need this um, an extra icon here because um, this one I already have file manager. From file manager, I can go everywhere. One way I uh, could go to uh, this one and look at this PC. It all takes me. Another way, if I'm like right on the desktop, I can double click on the this uh, PC here. Or if I want to go to C drive, I can click on here, or I can just come in here, this PC, and then uh, C drive. And then I can go here, see a users, Wahid, and go to my directory. Or just come in here and say Wahid Lutby, it will take me the same place. So if I'm on pictures and I want to just quickly go to Wahid Lutby, done. If I'm on picture and want to go to C drive, done. Doesn't matter where you are, these, these uh, options or shortcuts for you to go from here and navigate through them. Once you're in there, like let's say I'm on the home directory here and the, all of these files are here, I showed you the navigation panel. If you don't want um, this one to navigate through them and you just see this one, you don't, uh, you don't wanna see two of these ones and two different column under the filter, yeah, you could just go all the way and uh, search for this or under file and then uh, look at the navigation pan under the show. So show navigation pan is checked. If you uncheck it, it is not uh, there. But if you want to see the navigation pan show, check it again. Same thing with the file extension. All of these buttons that under the show uh, is checked or unchecked. If you check it, it will show the file extension. If you uncheck it, the uh, file extension will not show. Similarly for item check. So now the item, if I just click here, it is just showing this bar, but it doesn't have a check. If I want to see under the file uh, show, and then I say item check, now I should be able to go through each one of them. And then uh, let me just see if I click on check or not. Item checked, yes, I did. And then um, I think it is just because of the way uh, views are uh, done. So I'm gonna do it by list and I should be able to see that one. Let's see. Okay, on the, on the navigation pan, it doesn't show, but if the navigation pan is uh, just um, under the show navigation panel is unchecked. And now you check on it. Every icon that I uh, select, uh, it should have that uh, option. Um, let me just double check why. Uh, oh, I don't check that now it's not there and now it's there. So you have to take the navigation out and then do that one. When navigation was on, it was uh, saying that, let me just put the navigation back. Navigation back at the same time with the check. And then I click on these ones. Notice on the right side, it does not show. But on the left side, once you check this one, it says, okay, on the right side, it shows that this is checked. But it should have, had, have a check button here. But now uh, when I click on this one, it shows the uh, navigation. But uh, however, when you take the navigation out, that's something that you have to uh, uh, notice that one. Notice that now uh, it is checked. So uh, depending on uh, where you are, uh, some of those icons are in the subfolder versus the hierarchical level. So that's something to uh, remember. Um, so uh, here we did a number of ways to uh, open and explore. And then um, we showed you, you can also have under the personalized other option. Like for example, I showed you under the team, uh, you can just say, okay, open a desktop icon. Uh, inside here, you can say uh, open a network, uh, for example, to just get into the computer network. So if you are looking like a file, uh, uh, I'm sorry, not file, net use command or file explorer to um, uh, map uh, network drive between the machine. So this network uh, is good to just add it. But right now I'm not uh, seeing anything on the 
uh, net, uh, uh, I'm not connected to any other uh, uh, Windows uh, domain or Active Directory. Uh, so I don't need to do that uh, net stuff. I'm going to delete that one. And then if you do, you have to map it. And I will uh, quickly show you what I mean by that one. So if I just uh, say, go ahead, delete this one because I don't need it. And then empty recycle bin also, it's already empty. And that one is deleted, but it did not put it on recycle bin. CMD, command prompt, and then I could uh, just uh, use this uh, net uh, view command. Net view is that uh, basically, if you're on the network, it will just uh, show what is uh, on the uh, net, but I'm not, so it is not going to find much. And then there's another command, net use. Net use is uh, if you are doing net use A drive or uh, K drive, and then you have to put a mapping drive and then uh, K and then mapping drive, uh, the uni uniform resource locator, which is the host name um, could be algorithm and then slash the resource C drive or dollar sign C or something. And then you could map it and then later on use it. So this one is also not gonna come up with anything because I don't have anything but um, help a net, uh, and, sorry, a net slash question mark will tell you that uh, one of the command is use, one of them is uh, view to view it, uses to map a drive and stop and uh, clear it and everything that is there. You're welcome to use those ones also uh, there. But the topic here, file manager, I um, I believe I covered everything that I should have covered with Explorer. If uh, I missed anything, please make a comment and I'll just uh, make another video covering those parts or, or just add information on for any question that you may have, depending on your question, I may just uh, give you the answer over uh, some uh, answer that is like a one line, or if it is uh, too specific to so show you something, I make a video, a short video for you. Uh, and then um, that is file manager. And then if you have not uh, joined our channel, please join our channel. There's a lot of uh, nice video here for you. You're welcome to uh, just watch and enjoy and uh, grow with us uh, while we're making improvement in our communities and uh, you could do the same thing for others. Uh, like for example, this is Linux Ubuntu, it's a six hour video. That's really good video for uh, teaching you Ubuntu, shell scripting, Rocky Linux, Bash. Uh, I mean, uh, Bash. Bash is this one, uh, Linux Mint and uh, Rocky, the entire uh, full course, 32,000 Atlas sheet, uh, I mean, PDF files, uh, Atlas sheet. Uh, I did work on Atlas sheet for Southern California Gas Company. And then uh, scan them and uh, vectorize it, rasterize it and automate it, the whole thing uh, and everything. Went. So that was such a successful project. Uh, so, uh, we have done a lot here, honestly. There's a lot of videos you're welcome to watch and, and enjoy it. And then um, share it with your friends and uh, loved ones and then um, help each other, okay? Take care. God bless you all. Bye-bye.